Okay, today we're going to demonstrate how to add a lead compensator or lead controller in MATLAB using RL tool. I first need to put in a baseline system, so let's use uh, G equals, I'll build a transfer function here, for example, we'll put a uh, one zero in and put some poles in. Okay, there's G, and again G is going to be given to you uh, based on the system that we're trying to control. So based on the laws of physics or however else we derive the model, but let's just use that for G. Next I use RL tool, put in baseline system G, there the open loop transfer function in this case, G, hit the enter button. Alright, now we have... Uh, CISO tool design or RL tool is, is up and running. So here's our, our root locus for the baseline system. Um, right, so we got uh, one zero at minus two, we got a pole at minus one, a pole at minus three, and uh, a pole at minus five. So let's add some design requirements. Before, before we do that, let's go ahead and expand our axes a little bit under properties. So let's change the x-axis will go out to minus 15 and uh, for the y-axis we'll do plus or minus 10 just to give ourselves a little more space for our design. Okay, so now we've re-scaled the axes, now we're ready to add some design requirements. So right-click, we see design requirements new. So let's go ahead and add a damping ratio requirement it defaults to 0 0.707. Let's go ahead and say we want uh, 0 0.6 for the damping ratio. Again, that will be given to you as a design parameter that you'll have to meet from your boss or some other method. So let's add another design requirement, new. This time we'll add natural frequency. And let's say that needs to be at least 8. Hit OK. All right, so there's uh, the circle there is for the natural frequency design requirement and the straight line is for the damping ratio. So we can see right now with the baseline system just using the root locus and varying the gain um, that we cannot meet both damping ratio and natural frequency. We can meet one of them. I can take this pink box and move it up and down and I can meet, in this case I can meet the damping ratio in this case, I can meet the natural frequency, but I can't meet both simultaneously. So, I'll have to add a dynamic compensator. To do that, right-click, add pole zero, and we're coming down here, we're going to do lead. And it tells you to left-click where you want to add this lead. Lead compensators are typically put well away from the origin, so somewhere out here uh, in the left half plane, go ahead and click on the axis. And when I click, watch how the root locus will bend. Okay, so it bent. And I guessed, kind of lucky here, I got pretty close to where I wanted to go. But if I didn't, all I have to do is click on the pole and or the zero and drag it until I exactly intersect the requirements. I could also drag the zero and do the same thing. So, um, and it's not a unique design. There's many whole zero combinations that'll get you there. So, all right, that goes right through the intersection of both. The next thing I have to do is move the pink dot up or down to actually land exactly where I want it to at that intersection, let go, and now I have a compensator with a, a zero and a pole, and the, the pink box corresponds to the, to the K that was required to get the root locus there. So I've bent the root locus to the to spot that can meet both requirements, and I've moved the, moved the gain up and down the locus to actually meet it exactly. So that's what it looks like. Let's see on the next thing, the control and estimation tool manager of here's our compensator we just built. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So there it is. There's the compensator. It's 42.811, and it's times 1 plus 0 0.11 times S over 1 plus 0 0.075 times s. So MATLAB defaults uh, to this time constant and DC gain form of a transfer function. 
but I'd like to change that. So under CISO Tool Preferences, let's make that a little bit bigger because it's blurry. Okay. You go under the Options tab, and you can see it defaults to time constant, a DC gain, and then these time constants. But I like the zero pole gain form, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. So when I click this, um, you'll see above, you'll see this compensator change the format. It's mathematically equivalent, it's just a different form. So go ahead and click that, and you see now, um, sorry, hit OK. Now it changes to uh, S plus, so this is sigma Z, here's S plus sigma P, and here's the K, the compensator gain. So that's complete.